What is up everybody? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're actually going to be looking at the market reports for April of 2024 when it comes to Barry and Oshawa. For those of you who are new to the channel, we actually break things down by dwelling type and then giving you the median price. Now, the importance of dwelling type when it comes to you understanding and analyzing where prices are going, by looking at your statistics month over month, it gives you a far better picture of where prices are, where prices might be trending, versus looking at year over year statistics. So again, if you look at all of the other boards, many of the other boards love to still put in a year over year statistic, but if you're in the market today to actually buy, you're not looking at where prices were last year, you're looking at where prices are today. And so if you're trying to think that, oh, prices will go back up there, God willing they do, but that doesn't mean that they're going to go there. And so you cannot necessarily look at where prices were in the past to determine where they're gonna go in the future. Real estate as a holding always does go up, but obviously for the last two years, we have seen a major contraction already take place in the GTA market. If you do have any questions regarding real estate or mortgages, as I am a licensed agent also, I highly encourage you to book a call via my Calendly link, and I would be more than happy to assist you with any questions that you may have regarding real estate. You can find the link in the description below. So just a quick commentary regarding what is happening in the market. What I have seen is that the market actually was upticking. And then, especially when you look at the last two weeks or so of April, things just went flat. Uh, there was a lot of momentum happening early April. And then all of a sudden, when mid to late April came along, there was really no activity. And it's simply because buyers are now waiting to see when rates will come down. Uh, initially, we were seeing that buyers were getting into the market in hopes of buying something at a good bargain. And then when the rates went down, they would actually have gained a lot more equity. Now, if you can take a look at that same situation, the issue really becomes is when will rates come down, considering you're gonna still have a higher mortgage for that time being? And do you have the financial ability to hold on until rates come down. Again, rates coming down, the first hit is only gonna be a quarter point. It's not going to solve the problem of having a lower mortgage payment. That will still take a year and a half or even two years perhaps as the Bank of Canada gradually brings rates down as they see what is happening in the economy. So without further ado, let's get into the numbers for Oshawa and Barrie, Ontario. So we're going to be looking at all property types in Oshawa, Ontario. We've now got a median price of $775,000. Last month, we were at $777,000. So just a reduction of $2,000 there. Looking at detached homes in Oshawa, we are now at $856,000. Last month, $849,000, basically $850,000 there. We've actually had an uptick of $6,000. Semi-detached, we're now at $690,000. Last month, $700,000. So we've actually seen a decrease of $10,000. Oshawa Towns, $830,000. And last month, we were actually at $745,000. We've got Oshawa Condos now at $443,000. Last month, actually, we were at $475,000. We've got a decrease of almost $32,000 there. Oshawa Condos, now we're at $622,000. Last month, we were at $610,000. So we've actually seen an increase of about $12,000 there. Now, for those of you who are investors looking at Barrie, Ontario, Barrie, Ontario is actually going to be uh, opening up and rezoning certain areas, which is going to make it a lot easier for multifamily investors, for those who want to do conversions, they're gonna be permitting a lot of high density within lots uh, in Barrie, Ontario. Definitely take a look at one of my videos that talks a little bit more about Barrie, Ontario and what is happening there and how you can take advantage 
of investing in Barry. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to convert. Even if you are actually looking to purchase a home, this might be the city for you as there is a lot of growth uh, that is going to take place in Barrie, Ontario. So let's get into those numbers. Barrie, Ontario, we've got um, all property types now at $724,000. Last month, $740,000. So we've got a $16,000 decrease there amongst all property types. Barry detached homes now at $830,000. Last month we were actually at $826,000, so a small increase of $4,000. Got Barry Towns at $645,000 last month, about $650,000, so that just puts us down uh, about four $5,000. And we've got Barry Condos now at $495,000. Last month, $481,000. We've got a increase actually of $14,000. So there you have it. These are the numbers for Barry and Oshawa. Great markets, still have some decent prices there that you can take advantage of. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you found this video of, of value and share the video with somebody who may be on their own real estate journey who can value from this information. Until then, stay savvy, stay informed, stay knowledgeable. May your investments flourish and your dreams of home ownership become a reality. Catch you on the next one.